dear third semester uh, Trugoli stream with you students I welcome you all into my another video hope you are all doing well so finally I have uh, managed somehow the passing package for you students this is not only the passing package uh, but it will be the scoring package if you are just covering the numerical part also so let me discuss here uh, the first uh, passing modules then later on we will proceed for another two modules so module 5 we have here this is the passing module where you can easily grab 20 marks by this much portion so first of all we have listed the differences between FET and BJT they will ask you or sometimes they will ask you JFET and MOSFET or sometimes they will ask you differences between between BJT and MOSFET right so next one we have performed the analysis and configuration JFET designed for common source fixed bias with necessary sketches expand the voltage divider biasing for JFET and MOSFET with necessary sketch explain the working of common source MOSFET amplifiers so these will be the 10 marks questions explain the construction and working of N channel JFET and explain the characteristics of N channel E MOSFET also describe its working so last two questions we are having here obtain the expression for AV ZI and Z0 for fixed bias common source amplifier using JFET with necessary sketch explain the working of common source MOSFET amplifier so this is all about your module fifth so these are the eight questions which should be at your at most priority so next we have uh, module 4 which is again a passing module in which you have to cover these super important questions with neat sketches explain the classification of power amplifiers most important one so you should not neglect this question at any cost right next one we have with necessary diagrams explain the working of complementary symmetry class B amplifier and derive the expression for its maximum efficiency explain the work house and criterion for oscillations with neat circuit diagram explain the working of RC phase shift oscillator and next one we have Explain the working of call pits oscillator with necessary sketches and expressions. Fifth one, uh, we are having derived expression for second harmonic distortion using two point method for power amplifier. Again, a super important one we have here with circuit diagram and waveform explain working of class B push pull amplifier also show the conversion efficiency is 78.5 percent so seventh one we have with block diagram explain the principle of working of an oscillator explain the principle of tuned oscillators also obtain expression for frequency of oscillations of a Hartley oscillator next one we have state the causes of distortion and define total harmonic distortion THD derive the expression for the frequency of a wind bridge oscillator and explain its operation with a neat circuit diagram so these are all super important questions from your module uh, sorry this is module fourth over here okay so as far as problems are concerned you should not be worrying about that i provide all the previous year question papers including makeup paper on my instagram account you can refer those previous year question papers for your numerical portions right so next passing module we have here uh, module three where we have explained rc coupled ceh cascaded amplifier and explain the concept of feedback amplifier also explain the classification of feedback amplifiers explain the operation of cascade connection with the help of neat diagram this is again a super important one and uh, next one we have explained the dc analysis of uh, darlington emitter follower and derive uh, ZIAI AV and ZO okay Z0 so what are the characteristics of negative feedback amplifiers again most important one with two stage cascaded amplifier explain the need of cascading this is again a super important one next one we have obtained expression for input and output resistance of voltage series amplifier so this is all about the super important questions of this particular module so now coming to the module second uh, we have here uh, define edge parameters discuss the advantage of using a hybrid model to represent the transistor derive the expressions for AV, AI, ZI and Z0 for emitter follower circuit CC configuration using complete hybrid equivalent model and next one we have described Miller effect and derive an equation for Miller input and output capacitances fourth one we have explained the lower and higher cutoff frequency effect in multi-stage amplifier fifth one we have discussed the analysis of a single stage amplifier frequency response Next one we have explained the high frequency analysis of BJT amplifier. Seventh one we have discussed the two port network and the hybrid model. What is CB configuration? Write the hybrid equivalent model for the CB configuration and derive its edge parameters. Ninth one we have write the method of analysis of transistor amplifier using edge parameter. Okay, so these are all super important questions from this particular module. So as far as numericals uh, are concerned, I'm again telling you refer previous year question papers for the numerical part. So as you already know, I'm not including the numerical portions into my passing packages just because in VTU it is very rare. Uh, that they will give you the same numerical problem 
so concepts will be same data will be somehow changed okay there will be the variation in data itself otherwise the numerical concepts will remain same so better to uh, just refer psr question papers for the numerical part now coming to the model first which is the last one over here that is expand the circuit of transistors which being used as inverter and derive an expression for ib ic and vc for voltage uh, divided by us uh, using exact or approximate analysis explain the parallel clipper circuit for positive cycle with a neat waveform uh, define bias stabilization derive expression for s ico and s vbe for fixed bias configuration with circuit diagram and waveform explain full voltage rectifier explain the analysis of double and clipper circuit which clips both the peaks of and sinusoidal ac signal what are the factors affect the stability of operating point in a transistor and eighth one we have for the emitter stabilized by a circuit derive the expression for base current collector current collector to emitter voltage collector voltage emitter voltage base voltage and base to collector voltage all these parameters you have to just uh, find out the expressions so you have to just derive the expressions for these okay so this is all about your super important questions of your particular subject analog electronic circuits b e 303 is the subject code so make sure these questions should be at your utmost priority and all the best for your examinations make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you